Hello, in this video we will explore your ability to change scores. Now there's a couple locations that you can do this, either from inside of the assignments, from inside assignments you would locate the assessments themselves and you could open them, you can close this pop-up and then you could just enter here in the columns the score that you'd like to change. Let's say for example in this particular case for this standard a student didn't receive one point but instead actually received zero points simply by deleting. I'm going to go ahead and change that back. You can change the score here. Okay. You could also click launch performance grader. Now this is all from the assignments tab from my course navigation but you can also go inside your mastery tracker. I'm going to go ahead and go there now. From Mastery Tracker, we can see that we're only looking here at the benchmarks as opposed to my tracker in its entirety. And if you're not sure, you could always come to the little tracker icon and only select benchmarks so that we're isolated to look at those. Now, in this particular case, there are two different assessments that we can always change grade for. You have access to these types of ones, and these are ones that have, again, a grade icon. That is to indicate to us that they are a rubric-based test. This is something you may have administered outside of Mastery Connect, and you'd like to be able to change the scores for that. You have other ones, obviously, that maybe are grade off, and those are tests that could be taken inside of Master Connect. Not that they were, but they have the potential to be done so. Now, if I want to change the score, you can't click here. What you want to do is click anywhere on the assessment, and it's going to redirect us like we saw previously. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and now it redirected me to the test itself. So again, I couldn't change scores on the previous screen that was gray, but here I can't. And we can look and see under individual columns which score would I like to change. Again, you could simply click here, I'm going to backspace, backspace, and then you could change it to whatever score you'd like. Or you do have the ability to launch the performance grader. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If you launch the performance grader, if you're not familiar, you see on the left-hand side the students' names. On the right side is what the test is that they were taking. And you can edit the answers that your students had. So this would be more so if you wanted to change what was their response for an individual question. If you just simply wanted to be able to change the score that they earned based overall on a standard, you could have done that from the previous screen. Again, this video specifically was looking at how you would go about making changes to a student's score, whether they took the test inside of Mastery Connect or whether you may have entered the scores on their behalf in Mastery Connect. Now there's one major distinction, and that is to say if you are needing for a student to completely retake the test, maybe they took the test online in Mastery Connect. And for whatever reason, they made a mistake, or maybe they didn't click all the answers. You have the option for the student to be able to retake those tests again in Mastery Connect. And if you want that to happen, please reach out to one of the content TOSAs or someone from CIA, and we can assist you with that. But if you're just wanting to change the score either by standard or for a particular item through the performance grader, you can do that. And again, there are two places. You can either go through the assignments or you can go through Mastery Tracker. Find the test and click it. Okay. Now, if you are again, let me go back to my tracker for a moment. If you're trying to change grades here, you won't be able to do so. Once you're here inside of your mastery tracker, click on the assessment itself, at which point you'll be redirected to, to a screen that looks like this. And then you could change either in the column, the standard, the score that you'd like to change, as I mentioned, or the performance grader. If you have additional questions, please let us know. We want to be here to help. Thanks so much.